Nebraska lawmakers clash again over transgender rights. Good evening, I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Bill Shamer. The Let Them Grow Act would ban, quote, gender altering procedures for people under age 19 and, would, and it would allow for civil action for violations. Well, second round debate is set for Thursday. It's already prompting tough talk and there are protests coming. KETV News Watch 7's Sarah Feely joins us with our big story. Opponents blame the bill's sponsor for attracting the Westboro Baptist Church to Lincoln. Kathleen Cow says she did not invite them and doesn't want them here either. Ralston High School students walk out of class Tuesday protesting a bill in the Nebraska legislature. They're trying to ban everything and not just these things that are that they deem to be too much for young kids. LB 574 would ban gender altering surgeries and puberty blockers for children under 19. Omaha Senator Kathleen Kauth, who sponsors the bill, says no child should be making life altering decisions. It's about making sure that kids have the time and space they need for their bodies to grow so that their brains can catch up with what they actually can comprehend. Ralston's walkout is part of several protests that have happened because of the bill. On the legislature floor Tuesday, Omaha Senator Megan Hunt announced it would soon draw a new protest to Nebraska. The Westboro Baptist Church is coming to Nebraska, beckoned eagerly by Senator Kathleen Kauth. Hunt says the bill takes away critical access to gender affirming care for the trans community. It's her favorite thing to do this year is just harm children openly and her homies from the Westboro Baptist Church are going to be here to celebrate. Westboro Baptist confirms it will be in Lincoln Thursday. Kauth says she does not support the church in any way. It's disappointing how they have twisted their thoughts of religion um, and how they treat people. Teens say they're watching the legislature's actions closely. We're going to do something about it because we're the next generation of lawmakers, teachers, parents um, who this is really going to impact. That Kansas based hate group told me it will be in Lincoln, not necessarily to support the bill, but because lawmakers are drafting bills based on their own dislike of others not because of God's will. Kauf says her bill is not written in hate, but out of concern for children. Back to you.